I'm just grinding your gears, man. And so we're grinding away. I've been looking and I've been looking and I can't find it. I'm slipping. I'm scared. All right, guys, I got the shims in. I'm using four shims. So I'm just uh, setting them up right here, as you can see. And this is what a shim looks like. Half man, half woman, say hello to shim. So there's one of the anti-rattle springs. And then the other is right there. And then you see they're facing opposite directions, which is what you want. And then we're ready to drop this in the box. So let's do it. Yeah! Cool. You can barbecue it, boil it, brawl it, bake it, saute it. I've pressed my tapered roller bearing onto my input shaft. I've also pressed the cup for the tapered roller bearing into my input bearing retainer. And I've also pressed that seal in, as you can see there. All right, so you should have 14 of these pilot rollers. You can either use Frozen VIX, as I've mentioned previously, or you can use a Smart Blend Synthetic Transmission Assembly Lubricant. Once you have your uh, rollers in there, you're going to put your washer, your retaining washer, on top of them. And once you have that in, you're going to then put the snap ring inside of this groove. There we go. Cool.
Now that I've got this surface cleaned up for the tail housing, let's bolt it up to the transmission and check our end play. Good, great, grand, wonderful. And you can see uh, these grooves in the tail housing uh, surface are going to hold this bearing in place with this uh, retaining ring is going to hold this main shaft in place. So as you can see, I have my dial indicator set up. Uh, we're gonna check in play on the transmission. So now we're gonna tap on the end of the main shaft right here, and then we're gonna measure the in play on this dial indicator. We're looking for six to 12 thousandths of an inch. And you can see that is, uh, that's perfect. Okay, see how we did there. There we go. I've got the top cover back on. I just wanna shift through all the gears and make sure that uh, they're all there. So let's do that now. So there's first. There's neutral, there's second, neutral, third, and look how small third is. You see that? Watch this. Neutral, third, neutral, fourth, neutral, reverse. So they're all there. Ultimately, I love the way it's shifting except for third. Going over bumps and stuff or just driving, I'm worried it's gonna pop out like that. You see that, you hear that click? So there's third and there's neutral. So I'm gonna take a look at that.
All right, now using a long screwdriver, I'm gonna punch out these expansion plugs. And now you're gonna to wanna to use a punch tool and a hammer to remove the roll pin uh, from the third, fourth shift fork. It's gonna be your center rail and your frontmost fork. It's this guy right here. So here's what the dowel pin looks like. Um. Oh yeah, that's great. The two things you wanna look at if you're slipping out of gear are your springs and also your notches and your shift rail. They can get worn over time. Um, and also just the way uh, New Process made these, you know, they made a first gear notch that's obviously much shallower than these other, than these other notches. So something for you guys to take a look at. spring okay, there we go I've got my reverse gate this is your plunger, your reverse gear plunger and spring. The spring is on uh, inside of that plunger. And then there's a clip right there. Uh, these are the two roll pins, one and two, which I just hammered in. And this is the reverse fork, which you see right here. Okay. There we go. I'll take the plunger and put it in on this side as well. So now it's on both sides of third, fourth shift rail. Boom. See that? All right, cool. And now this guy is gonna go on like, like this. easier all right now let's shift into reverse and confirm that we can't get in gear with any of the other shift rails so we're now in reverse and let's see if we can shift anything else third fourth not moving first second nothing so that's perfect. That means our interlock pins are uh, preventing us from uh, shifting uh, when we're in reverse. All right, cool.
All right, so I'm gonna let these dry for an hour. There we go. Yeah, baby. Receded down. Third. Fourth. Solid. First. Neutral. Second. Up into third. Fourth and reverse. So fine, so smooth. Silky and smooth. Sweet, well this is great guys. Uh, we've clearly fixed the problem. I can go up into third and she's not popping out. She's not walking out. She's in there. It's a really nice, it's a really nice third gear. She's, when you find it, you find it. You're not searching around for it. Um, it's just, it's there. So, hot damn. so uh, I'm really happy with this. Uh, this thing's ready to go back in the truck. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments. Um, I'll have links in the description to all the tools that I use, the rebuild kit, uh, anything else you might need.